Thanks to a friend of mine, I was able to take something from Blender, put it in Substance Painter, and bring it back into Blender. I'm going to show you how. I started by going down to Merge Visible under Subtool to combine everything into one mesh. Then scroll back up, select your merged tool. Then by turning on the Poly Frame button, you can see your poly groups. And on the right, go down to Poly Groups and hit Auto Groups. This creates a poly group out of every subtool that was merged together. Very last, go down to Export and make sure that GRP for Group is turned on, and then export the mesh as an OBJ. Now we hop over to Blender. Go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ, and bring in your file. Hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. Here's the hot tip of the day. When you export from ZBrush with polygroups, Blender recognizes those polygroups as individual objects, so you can press L on any of those in Edit Mode, and it just highlights that object. For this video, I'm actually not going to use this, but it is just something that is good to know. Because this is a demonstration, I'm just going to use UV Smart Project, so hit A to select all, go to Smart UV Project, set your island margin to 0.3, and hit OK. Now that your object has UVs made, go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. Now we jump over to Substance Painter. Go to File, hit New, and in the top right, hit the Select button, and locate the OBJ file you just exported from Blender. Choose your map size, 2048 is usually fine, and hit OK. Now you can drag and drop a material onto your character, and bam! You have terrible, terrible looking textures, because Smart UV Project does not do well on complicated meshes. So I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. On the right, scroll down until you find the material inputs. This is important because Substance Painter is telling us that the color, metal, roughness, and height are all turned on for this material. You can change any of these at will, so I'm going to turn off the height and turn on the normal map. Go to File, and Export Textures. Click Output Templates. Click the little plus button to create a new template. And we'll just name this one Blender. This will be our custom one from now on for Blender. Now, I just happen to know that you need three RGB channels and two gray channels, so click RGB three times, click gray twice. When you're naming the first one, click the little dollar sign, select S project, then add an underscore, and then click the dollar sign again and hit S texture set, and add another underscore. And we're gonna name this first channel Diffuse. Diffuse is just your color. Then you can just copy and paste the S project S texture set to each other channel just to save some time. Then we're going to name the second channel Normal, the third channel Roughness, and the fourth channel Metallic. Now you just drag the corresponding name from the input map list on the right, drag it over the little gray button here, and hit Assign from Metallic. Same thing for Roughness, and Normal, and Diffuse. Now this is all mapped out, so you can go back to Settings. Choose your output directory where you want it to save, and hit export. Close the little dialog box, and we'll go back to Blender. Go to the shading editor in Blender, but first we need to go to edit preferences, and turn on the add-on called Node Wrangler. Now with your object selected, click on the principal BSDF shader, hold Control shift and press T, and select every single map that Substance Painter gave you for that object. And that is it, you're good to go. But wait, what if your object has more than one material? What if you had a weapon that had a bunch of different materials all over it? You'd wanna be able to assign different paint in Substance Painter. So in Blender, we're gonna assign a material to each piece. Select everything and UV unwrap it all at the same time. And now we have to organize all the pieces within one UV space. If you've made UVs before, this is pretty typical. Now if we export this to Substance Painter, Substance Painter has a texture set list for each material that you import, so it recognizes them all as individual sets. So you can just drag and drop materials onto one set without affecting any of the other sets. Now if I go to File, Export Textures, and go back to my output template, I'm going to add a height map because some of these textures actually use a height map. So I add a gray channel, and I drag and drop a height map on there. 
go to settings and export, and go back to Blender. Now when we click on one of our objects, we can check the material name on the right side, click the principal BSDF shader for that object, Control shift t select all the textures just for that object based on the material's name, and bam! Except that I accidentally plugged in a normal map, which it doesn't use, so I had to delete it. Make sure to check the different channels that Substance Painter is exporting. If it doesn't use a normal map, don't plug a normal map into your BSDF shader, or it's going to mess up your material. And you can see by deleting this normal map, now my material looks the way it's supposed to. And that is it! That is all the secrets to bringing stuff from Substance Painter, putting it back in Blender. Now you can create all kinds of stuff. Just make your own UVs because Smart UV Project is not that great. Thanks again for watching guys. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below to help my channel out. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you want to see whenever I come up with new stuff. But until next time.